Another day has come and gone without Chatham County and the eight cities within it coming to an agreement how to split those funds from the local option sales tax or lost. The argument now is over who's going to pay for sand on the beach. Our Shay Schrader was there for a meeting between the groups today and Shay, was there any progress made? The meeting ended when the Chatham County delegation walked out saying the cities are not negotiating in good faith. I caught folks from both sides of the aisle as they left and there was definitely some frustration from everybody. Do you feel like you're any closer to a decision being made? Nope. The battle between Chatham County and its cities continues. There's still no agreement on how to split lost revenue and now beach renourishment on Tybee Island also becoming an issue. We've already worked that out with the Corps of Engineers and the, um, Senator Ossoff and Tybee. I was a part of that. So that's already in the plan. So you aren't, you aren't really doing it. You aren't negotiating in good faith. The county walked away from uh, the table uh, in a offer that we made that would have netted them uh, $102 million over 10 years of additional revenue that they don't have now and an opportunity to protect uh, Tabby Island through their uh, beach nourishment. The cities were offering a flat 26-74% split between the county and the cities, but also wanted beach renourishment. The county, on the other hand, proposed taking the 26-74% split between the county and the cities, and then increasing the county's cut every year until it reaches 31% by 2025. Chairman Ellis says he thought the county was giving the cities what they wanted, and he was surprised when the cities rejected the offer. Ellis says he feels that of the eight municipalities in the county, that the city of Savannah in particular is holding up negotiations. The city of Savannah is really the holdup. Um, by putting things like Bush Road in or by putting things like Tybee um, Beach Renourishment in, uh, you're not negotiating in good faith. Those things have been already done. Jay Melder, Savannah City Manager, says that in the deal the county walked away from, Savannah would have been giving up $76 million to Chatham County, which is a significant amount of money as costs continue to rise. Well, I don't, I don't think that that um, describes at all the city of Savannah holding up these negotiations. I think that describes the city of Savannah working hard, working in earnest to close this deal, to protect taxpayers, to protect property taxes, um, and to work in a spirit of collaboration with the county. We don't know when the groups might be able to finally make a deal as they're both saying the other side needs to play ball. When the city um, of Savannah and those who are in the negotiating room come to the realization of what's going on, then we can, they can call and, and, and we can decide, but we told them, you know, we're not, we don't need to have all this going back and forth. We're willing and have offered opportunities to be able to agree and sign and move on. Uh, the county has walked away. This is the second time uh, they walked away from the mediation table. Uh, and so, you know, we're not holding up. We're still here. If they can't come to an agreement by the end of December, the local option sales tax will expire. If that happens, sales tax in Chatham County would go down by 1%, but residents might see an increase on their 2023 property tax bill as governments try to make that money back. Within the last 30 minutes, we've learned all eight cities will hold a news conference tomorrow morning to give an update on the negotiations.